I'm yes. sorry. Answer the following question, and these are hypotheticals that are true. Um, hold on one second. And you can tell me whether Idaho's exception, and we still go back to the point that even if Idaho law fully complies with federal law, um, you have a pregnant woman, woman who is early into her second trisemester at 16 weeks, goes to the ER because she felt a, a gush of fluid leave her body. She was diagnosed with p prom. The doctors believe that a medical intervention to terminate her pregnancy is needed to reduce the real medical possibility of experiencing sepsis and uncontrolled hemorrhage from the broken sac. This is a story of a real woman. She was discharged in Florida because the fetus still had fetal tones, and the hospital said she's not likely to die, but there are going to be serious medical complications. The doctors there refused to treat her because they couldn't say she would die. She was horrified, went home. The next day, she bled. She passed out, thankfully taken to the hospital. There, she received an abortion because she was about to die. Yeah. What you are telling us, is that a case in which Idaho, the day before, would have said it's okay to have an abortion? Under Idaho's life-saving exception, a doctor could in good faith, if the doctor could in good faith medical judgment determine... No, I'm asking you, the Florida doctor said, I can't say she's going to die. Yeah, and Your Honor, my point if is... If your that, doctor says, I can't with a medical certainty say she's going to die, but I do know she's going to bleed to death if we don't have an abortion, but she's not bleeding yet, so I'm not sure. The doctor doesn't need to have medical certainty. The Council Supreme Court answer that yes question. or no. He doesn't have, he doesn't, cannot say that there's likely death. He can say there is likely to be a very serious medical condition, yeah, like on, a hysterectomy. Based on the Let me go to another one. Imagine a patient who goes to the ER with pre-prompt 14 weeks. Again, abortion is accepted. She's up, uh, she was in and out of the hospital up to 27 weeks. This particular patient, they tried, had to deliver her baby. The baby died. She had a hysterectomy. And she can no longer have children. All right, you're telling me the doctor there couldn't have done the abortion earlier? Again, it goes back to whether a doctor can, in good faith medical judgment. That's a lot for the doctor to risk. Well, I when, think it's protective when, of doctor judgment. Your when honor. Idaho law changed to make the issue, whether she's going to die or not, or whether she's going to have a serious medical condition. There's a big dead, dead daylight by your standards, correct? It is very case by case. The example of the problem. I'm kind of shocked, actually, because I thought your own expert had said below that these kinds of cases were covered. And you're now yeah. saying they're not? No, I'm not saying that. That's just my point, Your Honor.